YouTube. What's up, baby? It's your boy DMD, and we are back with another video. This time, this is gonna be a legit check website video, man. Because as you see from the title, um, it's this website called Kicks Crew. First of all, <laughs> let me get this out the way. I am not sponsoring them. This video is not provided by them. They did not pay for me to uh, do this video. I am not endorsing this uh, website or nothing. This is just, I'm gonna review this shoe that I bought from them from a legit Nike.com store that I bought my shoe from. I'm just gonna compare the two. Y'all can come up with your own conclusion, okay? Cause y'all ain't about to scoop me. No, 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 no. Y'all ain't about to scoop 208 me, man. Hey, shout out to Scoop, you the homie, but hey, man, you gotta learn from other people's mistakes. So I'm not giving my stamp of approval from this website. If you wanna buy on their website, go right ahead. I'm not saying they fake, I'm not saying they're legit. I'm just gonna give you my experience and I'm gonna show you the shoes in depth detail and everything so nobody can come back. And talking about, oh, D, you said they were real. Oh, they're fake, bro. Hey, this is at your own risk. But I did this on my own risk. I paid for this for my own money. But, um, yeah, anyway, this website is called Kicks Crew, I think it's called. And um, I've always wondered if their shoes are legit or not. Because I have heard about them probably in the last two years, and I don't know, something just, I don't know, it, it just seemed too good to be true, and normally when shit is too good to be true, especially in the sneaker game, it's, yeah, you need to stick with that gut. But you know what, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna take one for the team, and make a video on this, and hopefully help y'all, and just, I just wanna give y'all my experience of, what I purchased and compare it with a legit shoe that I bought from Nike.com. And all I'm gonna do, okay, once again, all I'm gonna do is show y'all the both shoes, the boxes, and everything. I'm not gonna say it's real, I'm not gonna say it's legit. Y'all yeah, ain't about to come back to me and say, D, I, I ordered from them and they sent me face. And y'all come, no, 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 uh -uh. no, no, no. You're not gonna scoop 208 me. <laughs> I learned from the homie, so I'm not putting my stamp on approval. Buy at your own risk. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm about to walk downstairs to my mailbox and go get the package right now, baby. So I'm about to get in the elevator, hit that one button, boop. Uh, first I gotta figure out which goddamn key it is because my dumb ass, I don't know which one goddamn key, but I'm gonna figure out. <laughs> All right, there you go, cool. So, we got the key for my post office mailbox thing, all right? So, I gotta figure out, goddamn, where the fuck is my, where's number 21 at? I don't know, but I need to pick up that mail that I just dropped, all right? Yeah, pick that up, get, get that ass. All right, so, I need to find 21. Where is P21, where is P21? Of course, my dumb ass don't know where it is. I'm lost. I passed it like three, four times already, but I wasn't paying attention. So, I'm gonna be walking up and down for a few moments. Then I'm gonna finally figure it out. But first, I need a double check. I need a double check to see, is it number 21? Oh, okay, I finally found it. Oh, y'all put it in the wrong hole. Hey, fellas, you never wanna put the key in the wrong hole. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying? You you don't ever wanna just slip inside. Whoop, whoop. Put it in the right hole. Here, take your time. All right, so I got the box as you see right now. It's a weird looking green act. Green box. I don't, I never seen a green box in my life. Voila! Here we go, baby. We got the package on deck. All right, so I'm gonna give y'all my experience with shipping, okay? Knowing that they are from Hong Kong. So it takes a little bit longer than your normal US uh, uh, delivery, all right? So this has to go through custom and all that shit, you know what I'm saying? So it took at least about a week and a half, maybe two weeks, maybe two weeks, but it did take them like three or four days for me to get my tracking number. So I was kind of worried. I was like, bruh, it's been 
three or four days and these niggas have not sent me my tracking number. So I was like, ah, shit, I gotta PayPal claim these niggas. But I sent them an email, I was like, hey, yo, what's, what's good, my niggas? Um, it's been three days since I placed my order. Where's my tracking number? And they did, after I sent my email to them asking for my tracking number, the next day they did provide me the tracking number. So you just gotta be patient because they weigh in fucking Hong Kong. Hong Kong. So it's gonna take a little bit longer than your regular US shipping. So boom, here's the box right here. It's covered in this weird ass green fucking Christmas paper. All right, so here we go. Open it up just like that. Okay, so boom. We got that done, all right? Like I said, I'm not gonna say if they legit or not. I'ma let y'all be the judge. I'm going to let y'all be the judge in the comments down below. Y'all, from what I show you, you let me know, okay? You let me know if they legit or not because I ain't gonna say shit. I'm just gonna show y'all the shoes, all right? You ain't about to scoop two or eight weeks, you know? I ain't about to write no blogs and make a hundred thousand videos on me and, 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 and put me on gloves off and try to, hell no, nah, I ain't gonna be on gloves, gloves off trying to expose my ass. Nah, bro, I ain't, I ain't gonna do that. <laughs> All right, so this is the box. The box is a little bit damaged, but that's because it's, it, was, it was from Hong Kong. So the one on the right side, this one right here is from Kix Crew. You see, this is the damaged one. And the one that I got from Nike.com, is the pretty one right here. So we are gonna take a look at the height. Let's see about the height, all right? Like I said, I'm not gonna say shit. I'ma let y'all be the judge, all right? Y'all tell me what y'all see, cause, cause, hey, sh shout out to the homie Scoop. But I learned from his lesson and y'all ain't about to um, put shit on me. So y'all determine, y'all tell me if this is legit or not. But as you see, the boxes, this is how it lines up, straight up and down. So y'all can examine that. Y'all let me know, shit. Look at the box right here. Do y'all see any dif Tell me if y'all see any differences. Let me, let me zoom up. Y'all tell me, shit. The height, the Nike check. Once again, this one is from Kick Square. This is from Nike.com. You be the judge, all right? There we go. Uh, uh, here's the other side. That's how it looks from that angle. All right, so one thing I do notice and that I will point out is that the ones from Kicks um, Crew does not have the suggested price. So that could be a big deal for y'all. Not really for me because I actually bought this shoe on their website, it was, uh, they were selling it for $150. So it was only $30 over resale. You see the resale price is $120. But a lot of reseller websites always take this off. But y'all can look at the details if y'all want to check it out. So boom, y'all let me know. If y'all see any differences, uh, to me, I honestly don't see anything different. I really don't see anything different. But hey, like I said, I I'm not saying it's legit or not. Y'all ain't about to scoop two or eight B. Fuck that. <laughs> so the the damage box is from Kicks Crew, and this one is from Nike.com. So let's open it up. All right, we're gonna open it up. Let's see. Okay. So, this is the Nike one, all right? Over here, they got this little stamp. Pass G7. Oh, they got their little sticker. And over here, they also got the sticker too. So, hey, y'all tell me. Y'all tell me. Y'all tell me, cause I ain't saying shit, but they got the same goddamn sticker, all right? As you see, and the stamp. They got the stamp right here, stamp over there, all right? So we got the paper. Honestly, 
the paper looks the goddamn same to me. It it looks the same and it feels the same. So all right, matter of fact, let's go over here. Let's check out these numbers right here. Boom. This this one right here that you're looking at is the Nike reseller one. I mean <laughs> the Nike retail. And this is the resale. So uh the numbers do match up. Okay? So the numbers do match up right there. And it also has a little A right there. Like, I'm, I'm going to do all the little details. And they both got the A. So, I mean, A. A, A, A. All right, so here we go. This is the shoe. All right, so boom. See? Check it out right there. Kicks Crew. Got it from Kick Crew. And, like, I, I am not endorsing them. I am not endorsing them. Y'all see me taking it fresh out the, uh, the box. All right? I didn't switch the shoes. I didn't do nothing. Matter of fact, I'm gonna take both of them out. And I'm not gonna edit this part out. We're just gonna go all the way through. So if I fuck up, oh well. I just don't want people to be like, oh, you switched the shoes, bro. Uh, and all that bullshit that people do. All right, so that's the right shoe. This is the right shoe, all right? This is the left shoe. That's the left shoe. All right, so here we go. <sighs> let's see, let's see. On the right hand side, is the kicks crew the left hand side is nike.com so side by side let me get these over here so y'all can't see in the background all right there we go side by side y'all let me know y'all let me know check out the height check out the height y'all can check out the patterns well you really can't go by the patterns because i'm sure all the shoe patterns are different but Check that out. Y'all let me know, all right? Y'all let me know if y'all see any significant difference, all right? Check out the shape. Look at the height. Look at the height of this. Look at the height of that. Y'all let me know if y'all see any significant differences, all right? Once again, this is the Crew Kicks, the Kicks Crew. And this is Nike.com, so even playing field. Check out the height. Boom. I don't know if, if that makes a big difference to y'all, but these are both the right shoe. Check out the Nike Air. Nike.com on the left-hand side the reseller on the right side. All right, I'm gonna flip it over, boom. Check out the front. There we go. Can you focus? Check out the little, I don't know what the fuck you call this. <laughs> the little button right here. There we go. Y'all let me know if, if y'all see any differences. Check out the threading. Look at the threading. What do y'all see that's different? Y'all let me know. Boom, there we go. What do y'all see that's a major, major, major difference? Okay. Uh, what else can we check out? Check out the front. Look at the Nike check. Look where it's placed. It's evenly, evenly set up, all right? That's even right there. Check out the Nike check. Y'all let me know, because I'm not saying shit. Because <laughs> I don't, I don't want to be held responsible for nothing and nobody. All right? This is the soul. Check out the bottom. Y'all let me know if y'all see any major differences. I'm going to let y'all be the judge. All right. I'm going to let y'all be the judge. Y'all tell me. Since y'all the shoe experts, 
since y'all the shoe experts, I'm gonna let y'all be the grand jury. So leave a comment down below. Y'all let me know if y'all see any major differences. Do y'all see any major differences? I mean, to be honest, I really don't see nothing <laughs> at all. I, I really don't. But like I said, I'm not saying that y'all should shop there or not. Because <laughs> I don't want to be irresponsible. I'm, I'm going to keep saying that in this video. I'm just going to give y'all my experience and show y'all side by side. But in all honesty, I really do not see any differences. Like the labeling was pretty accurate. They had the stamps. They had the sticker. I mean, shit. <laughs> you tell me. Check out the height. On the top is Kicks Crew, and on the bottom is from Nike. All right, so y'all let me know if y'all see any differences about the length, if it's bigger, if it's smaller, the placement. I mean, honestly, everything looks dead on to me. <laughs> everything looks dead on as far as like the height of the Nike check at the bottom, the height of the Nike check in the front right here, where it's placed right here. Those are little small details that you gotta pay attention to when you're doing like legit fakes or whatever. There we go. You see the placement of the end? And then check. I mean, that looks pretty accurate to me, but I'm gonna let y'all be the judge. I'm gonna let y'all be the judge. I'm gonna keep saying that shit. So, the right shoe, once again, is from Kicks Crew. And on the left is Nike.com. So, check out, hold on, let me put it right here. And I'm just going to, hey, I'm not gonna edit this part out, so it may be a little long. But I just don't want people to be like, oh, you switched up the shoes or whatever. I did not switch up the shoes. So y'all tell me if y'all see any differences. Um, they both got the little hole right here, right in the middle. They both got this yellow stitching on the side. Boom, you see it over there too. Um, the inside of the stitching is white. And it also has this little black has these two black lines. You see them right there? Has those two black lines right there. I mean, not lines, but the two black stitching. Same thing over here. It has white stitching on the outside and it also has the two black little stitching lines right there, as you see. Um, I mean, y'all be the judge, man. Um, I just, I don't, I don't see any shit. I, hey, hey, <laughs> I don't know. Y'all tell me. Honestly, y'all seen, I compared the height, the box, the label, the inside of the stitching. All right, man, so there you go, man. I just gave y'all a comparison. The one over here is from Kicks Crew, and the over here is Nike.com. And in all honesty, I'm gonna just give y'all my opinion. I really don't see any differences. The height checked out, the, the stamp checked out, they had the sticker, they had the right numbering in the box. Everything lined up, the stitching was correct, the height, the uh, placement of the Nike check. To me, I'm not saying for y'all to shop there, but I really don't see no differences. So y'all leave a comment down below. Y'all let me know what y'all think about um, Kick Square. Is it legit? Is it not? I don't know. And hey, I'm just saying, I'm not saying for you to shop there. 
I'm gonna let y'all be the judge. That's all I gotta say. I hope y'all enjoyed this little review video that I did. And uh, I may do some more legit website uh, shoot checks in the up and coming future. So make sure y'all hit that thumbs up for your boy. And that's about it, man. It's your boy, Damn D. I'm signing out. Peace.